Hello and welcome back to RC Maintenance with your host, Ana Dash. And this series of videos is for all of you racers, jumpers, mudders, snowers, and crawlers, and all the maintenance that comes with it. And as always, this video and this channel is dedicated to you, fans that make up Honda Dash production possible. But if you also have time, please check out my Facebook over here for all the videos and uh, latest pictures. Alright, so what we're talking about today is the actual nitro engine in your RC car, truck, truggy, doesn't matter, whatever it is, crawler. Um, but what we're talking about today is my engine on the Ofna Hyper SS cage, and which is a custom cage. And I have a point, uh, 0.28 JL, big block in this here, beast. And so we're going to be telling you how to take apart this, um, take it out, and working on it. In my case, I have to take it out because I think I shot out some bearings in my uh, clutch belt. So I gotta take it out anyway. Okay, so the second reason or way to do this is to remove the two bolts here on, on either side of the slider mechanism. And tuners love this method, prefer it actually more than the other way because what this does is slotting function here allows you to um, tune, your, tune your cars by moving it back and forth along the spur gear here to the clutch bell and either having on the middle or the side or the other side in case this uh, one side got chewed up pretty bad and you can switch it to the other side so it's pretty perfect now in order to get to these bolts it's kind of difficult because most straight tools can't make it and what you can use is actually um, what's known as a ball um, ball wrench and that one kind of has a little bit of a you know a little bit of an angle on it but um, the most common way is is to use to use um, a uh, tool, so this glow plug tool here, and go inside to the top of your t cooling tower and to remove your glow plug because without doing that first, you cannot remove your um, t cooling tower. If you pull the cooling tower off, like so, and then you remove all four bolts, I suggest that that you um, kind of make sure you leave all your all of your screws in the bottom and not lose any of these screws. So once you got that done, you can actually get to this part right here where you can get to for all four screws without any impediment so and to take it out perfectly okay now we come to the spot where we need to remove the throttle linkage from the engine itself and to locate that we just right in the middle smack dab in the middle of the uh, throttle uh, the steering servo and the box for the powers for all the servos um first thing to do is locate this thing right here you can see what I'm looking at here. I'll try to zoom in on that. Let's put it right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to just take a couple pair of pliers, preferably some needle nose, and get in there, you know, and grab it just right there on the inside like this, and then roll it off. So you take it just like that, and then you're gonna you're gonna roll it, roll it off, and see that pops right off like that. Now you could pop it off straight off, but I highly recommend that you don't do that because if you do, you have a chance to bending this this linkage right here, and you don't need to bend it. It's not gonna it's gonna make things a lot worse for your tuning and everything else. Okay, so the next step here is to remove this wire, this line here, from the high speed needle. So, so all you have to do is just pull this off right here, boom, just like that, and you're done. And let's move on. Okay, so now we come to the part where we're going to be t trying to get disconnect the engine here too as well. Um, and with, typically, most engines actually have this spring that goes all the way around the other side of your engine. So first thing you need to do is grab some pliers and get in there. And it helps to have someone hold the car down if you can't, but... Sorry. that and then this spring like I said goes all the way around here to this other side so and that one just comes right out should pop right off there see and that's your spring goes around your engine keep make sure you keep this all handy in, in places that are easy to find and now your engine should just kind of 
wiggle its way out. Just like that. See? Yeah. Okay, now that you've loosened up all your screws here, it's time for the big finale. Time to take out your engine and see how you did. So let's lift it out. Just like that. And there you go. So that's how you take out your engine. And you can tell I need some new stuff for mine, obviously. But and then I will show you next video I'll show, be showing you it'll be how to put it back in. But I needed like I said, I needed to take it out because I had to fix my clutch shoes, which for obviously good reasons, right? So yeah, there. I pretty much fried. So um alright, so this is Honda Dash. 84 coming at you here with my video uh, removal of nitro engines uh, Check me out on my next video. Also, you know check out my playlist like before um, I do a lot of nitro how-to videos If you'd like to leave any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below Also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button Also, I greatly appreciate it if you do watch my videos to please hit that like button as well if you'd like to contact me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.